Which single serve coffee machine is best for you? A Keurig View or the Bun MCU? Well, we're gonna help you answer that question today here on aromacup.com. Hi everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com and thank you as always for joining me here in my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. Let's dive right into what I was talking about in the intro to this video. I'm going to be showing you a side-by-side -side comparison between a Keurig View single serve coffee machine and the Bun MCU single serve coffee machine. So let's start off by talking about some of the similarities between each of these machines and then we'll talk about the differences. So when we're talking about similarities, we have to mention some of the, the uniqueness of the MCU over the way that it is different from the view. And this also kind of helps the similarities at the same time, if that makes any sense. Um, the way that the MCU is different is that it uses these different add-on trays, and there's actually four of them that come with the machine. And each of these has a different feature, which it adds to the MCU. Uh, so when it comes to talk about the similarities between what each of these can brew, the first one is the ability to brew K-cups. Now the MCU can brew K-cups by making use of this K-cup adapter where we simply place a K-cup inside of it, close it up, and then we add it to the machine and we start brewing. The view machine can also brew K-cups by making use of an add-on adapter, uh, such as the K2V cup, the one that I have right here, whereby I can simply take a K-cup, I can add it to the K2V adapter cup, and I can brew inside of my view machine. So I can do K-cups on both of these. There's a similarity. The next thing is the ability to brew your own ground coffee. Again, taking a look at the MCU, it has this unique tray. This tray is where you're going to place your ground coffee, close it up and brew your own ground coffee using the machine. You can also do that on the Keurig View by making use of, again, an option like the K2V cup, which is going to allow you to do that by making use of this add-in filter, put your grounds in here, pop it in and brew using the View machine. That's another similarity. The next similarity is going to be the ability to brew coffee pods. Now the MCU can brew a coffee pod using this pod tray. You simply place your coffee pod into here. Some folks are really specific about their coffee and love coffee pods. So if you like coffee pods, you can use them with the MCU. You can also use them with the Keurig View machines. Uh, and the option I would tell you to use for that is the Solo Fill V2 cup, which is another add-on cup, kind of like the K2V. Uh, but I will preface that with brewing pods is a little bit not so good with the view machines. I've done it and it's just the brew is very inconsistent, but I do find that the brew is very consistent on the MCU when using a coffee pod. But strictly talking about similarities, both of them can do coffee pods. Both of them also have the ability to brew hot water, um, just simply hot water, which is useful for other beverages. The MCU does that by making use of this hot water tray, pop that in add some water and you're just gonna boil some water. You can do that on the Keurig View machine by simply popping open the brew basket, closing it without adding a pod and brewing and you're going to brew some hot water. So the similarities in brew types are very much the same on these with one major distinct difference. And that is that the View machine is the only one that can make use of View Packs. Um, view Packs are still proprietary. The only machines to make use of them are Keurig machines. So you cannot make use of View Packs using the Bun MCU. Beyond that, your brew options pretty much the same between both of these. Now let's talk about brewing with each of these machines. Now we've talked with about all the different options that you have for brewing. Uh, let's talk about how you do with each of these machines. Now with the Keurig View, it's really simple. Pop open the brew basket, take a view pack or maybe an add-on adapter like one of the ones I've talked about, drop that into the brew basket, close it up and hit brew. You're ready to go. Uh, the only other thing you need to do is uh, maybe make some selections to brew type, brew temperature, brew size, things like that. All of that's done using this touch screen that is on the view machine. But brewing is really, when you come right down to it, a single button operation. The only thing you change is with the touch screen. So it's a little fancier, allowing you to dial your brew in more readily. Over here on the MCU, things are a little more straightforward. To brew, you take your tray, whichever one you might be using, and you attach that to the bottom half of the MCU brew basket. After that, you're going to pour your water into your machine. So that's another distinct difference here is you pour the desired amount of water into the MCU. It boils that water and then it brews. Whereas over here on the Keurig view, you have a water reservoir 
which is going to hold all of your water. It's a 74 ounce water reservoir. It's gonna hold that water and get it hot and ready. So there's a little more work on the MCU. The other difference here being that you only have a couple different brew buttons on the MCU, and you're gonna press one of those to start brewing, and the machine's just gonna do its thing. When we're talking about brew similarities between these machines, they actually both have a couple things that make them very similar. Uh, you're gonna notice on the MCU, I have a pulse button. Now that button is going to cause the machine to brew a little slower, take its time brewing, give you a stronger brew. Over here on the Curique View, you actually have much the same option, but that's done by utilizing the strong function on the touch screen. And then the pulsing technology is going to slowly brew that coffee and give you a stronger brew. So you can really get the same features between both of these machines, that same pulsing brew technology that will give you a stronger and a bolder brew. Another thing you might be wondering about is brew size, because not only does brew temperature and type matter, but brew size matters with these machines. So on the MCU, we have the option to go from four ounces all the way up to 14 ounces. Now remember, you do that by selecting how much water you actually pour into the machine. On the Curic View, you have the option to brew, depending on the machine you're using, anywhere from four ounces up to 16 or 18 ounces. It differs a little bit depending on the view machine. So the brew sizes are about the same, and you can keep those consistent on either machine. It just kind of depends on the process you're using, whether you're pouring the water in here or allowing the Curique View to be in charge of the actual amount of beverage that you're going to be brewing. Let's talk about pricing on each of these machines. So the Bun MCU is coming in at about $140. Not a bad price point for this machine. Keurig View machines, you're looking at anywhere from the low side of about $119.99 going all the way up to the high side, about $149.99. Not a bad price for either of these machines, I think. And of course, if you wanna find out where you can buy either of these machines, check out the link in the description here on our video. So what's my bottom line on both of these machines? Well, when you come right down to it, the Bun MCU was really designed to be a multifunctional coffee machine. Uh, allowing you to brew K-cups, your own coffee, pods, hot water, and all these different options that you can make use of by using the different trays that come with the MCU. So it was designed from the ground up to be a versatile machine. Whereas the Keurig View initially was not designed that way. It was designed to only work with view cups, and as time has gone along, we've seen new add-ons to the machine, new ways to brew K-cups and other different beverage types and things like that. So it wasn't designed initially to be as flexible as the MCU kind of is when it first started off, but it's getting there, especially with the new additional uh, type of cups that you can add on, some of the other features that are being added to the view line as we go along. So my bottom line is that if you're looking for a versatile machine, you're probably gonna get a little bit more versatility out of the MCU and your price point is about middle of the, you know, middle of the lane when you really come down to it. If you are sort of a, more of just a single serve coffee fanatic, you love that ease and use of view packs, something like that, the view machine is gonna be the way to go. They obviously are very different machines when it comes to their form factor and their operation, but you can see they have some very distinct similarities that make them not necessarily the same machine, but certainly have much of the same functionality. So there you are guys, that is a side-by-side -side comparison of the Bun MCU versus the Keurig View single serve coffee machine line. I hope you found this useful as always. If you have questions or comments, join us in the comments on this video or of course on aromacup.com where we will be happy to talk coffee with you. As always guys, I'm Brian coming to you from my virtual coffee shop brought to you by aromacup.com. I wanna thank you for joining me. Enjoy your cup and I'll see you next time. Take care. Do you own a Keurig single serve coffee machine? Well today on aromacup.com, we're gonna tell you the top 10 tips and tricks that you should know to get the most out of your Keurig single serve coffee machine.